Hello everyone, and today I'm going to build the LML Vespa 125. The LML Vespa of 125 and the model is from the 1960s, the model. And this Lego model is 18 plus model and it is a 10298 model number and has a 1106 pieces. And this model, the LML Vespa, started in 1946 and it was built in Italy, Ponteranda. And in this, when it was in Italy, this model had started from 1946 till now. So it's been 75 years since it's been on the road and traveling. And it's been developing from that time. And slowly, slowly it's been developing to this point. And we've got this model, which is the 1960s model, the Animal Vespa. And we're going to build this model in order to celebrate the 75 years of its living. And this model was not just as a thing for driving, but transport, for joy and fun. So today I'm going to build this Animal Vespa and I'm going to start with bag one. And these are the bags here. So there's six bags and a few stickers, I think. Well, so I'm going to be building this now. So see you next time. Bye. Hello everyone, and now I've completed bag one and two. So so far we have created two: the body and the seat, the base plate, and basically the main part of the body. Basically, so it's more high up, like showing the box. And when seeing this, it's actually quite simple of how they built it because this is on just one help piece and so is this and this bit is also on a connector so you can easily just take it up as it's only on one to one piece these two these pieces and this piece so once you place that back and then connect it you can connect that and you can connect that back as well and that back so it's a very simple piece that they've done here. So yeah, it's not much of a thing, but yeah, that's all for now, I see. And then we're going to start bag three now. So I'll see you in that one. Bye. Hello everyone, and now I've completed this part of the bike. So the bulked area, so like the, we have here as a um, petrol point here. And we have the front done mainly the base area and we have the handlebar pit area so so far i completed till 242 steps which is up till bag three and four and then this is how bag five was this is what this bag five is going to be like so as we have so as we have here we have one of these here on the other side we have this engine since on this side there is actually nothing in there while there is something in here there's also one of these which we can also put in just like there's an engine which they've done here which is just a piece no tech features or anything it's just there for decoration we have this piece as well which we can connect so now we've got both on both sides so this is how the bike would really look but this was just to show you what was inside there so that's all for now and i'll see you when we finish the bike so see you then bye I'm going to start bag five and so far I've created the first the front wheel I'm going to connect it with the head the, he the headlight so I'm going to start connecting the headlight towards here so I'm going to start building from page 295 
headlight and the wheel. So first we'll connect the wheel by placing it into the hole and we'll connect it through and then we'll, put, we'll use this um, piece here to secure it in. Once now we've secured that in, now I have, a three, six, I have this a 360 wheel motion. Okay, now we've connected the both wheels. We can use the stand that's given and we can pose it in any way we like. Now we'll connect the head. We'll connect the head by placing it here in this peg and just connect it like that. And there we go. We've done the head, which is now also connected to the wheel. The wheel will basically move towards it. Now we have finished the model of the Vespa 125 as it says. We know it's an 18 plus model of 1108 pieces. This model took me 4 hours to build and now I've finally finished the model and this is how it's turned out. So so far we have these models all together. But before we go into the details of the model, we're going to go into a brief summary of what the Vespa was. So as we can see that the Vespa, as given in the booklet itself, was introduced in 1960, this Vespa 125 model. As it was given this futuristic sky blue colour, this made it this iconic model. As it was a colour model, this is the only colour you could get this model in, the Vespa 125. So it is very popular and unique as it was a sky blue colour and mostly this was not shown in the Vespa models. So this Vespa 125 model was a very unique model with a unique colour which was built in 1960. And now we're going to see the history of the Vespa from 1946 from when it was created and then to 2021. In 2021, this has been 75 years as it started from being the LML Vespa in 1946 to being the, uh, it says, the, the Vespa Celebria. And this is how it's now in, in 2021. 75 years later, the Vespa model is still there. So now, we can go into detail with the Lego model. So as we can see, we have the Lego model here. So first of all, we have a wheel, which is not really standing, so we can make that a bit more slanted. Yeah, that's a bit better. Yeah, so we have a wheel, of course. So now we have like a flying wheel, almost, which is quite cool. And then we have, it's, it can be able to turn 360 degrees. Then we have two seats, and we have one center point here. So, then we have these two engines, and then we have an, a removable engine part here. So we can remove this part and we can reveal the engine. Okay, so we'll keep that aside for now. And then we also have the flower pot, which is a fun accessory given, which we can put on this cradle given, attach it, and then we can place it there. Then we have a a what's it called a helmet which has a goggles on and a helmet holder at the bottom so we can place that here as well so this is how the model would look and this is what we've been building so this is how it looks so we have the engine we have the we even have a what's it called a gear striker which is used we can use here so it goes up and down up and down as a function then we can go into more detail about the Lego design. So as we go into the design of the Lego, it's actually clearly given in the book itself about this. 
We understand that it's, it was created, like it says, by Coriander de Sassonio, this model itself, the model of the Element Vespa 125. And the design team had even said that the biggest challenge for them while building this was creating the round parts of the object. See, as we can see, the round parts. The round parts, since when they're creating the round parts, they have to create the 1960s feeling, since that's the part which creates that feeling. So this was the hardest part for them. But they did various things like a various things to make this model funner like the removable engine and this is actually a um, kickstarter here this is a kickstarter we have here and we even have some pedals at the bottom so this is all really good okay so next we understand that this this is how they've created this wonderful model or to create this dulce vita feeling towards us and this is how they've created this LMS vibe this LMS Vespa vibe and this is how the Lego have celebrated 75 years of LMS Vespa by creating this unique feeling by creating the Vespa 125 from 1960 so that's all for t from today's um, like Lego video and I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next Lego video thank you